In this video, we will show you how to use Phrase Express with an SQL server. We are now at the central server computer where all workstation clients have network access to. Here, install the Phrase Express SQL client manager. Double click the installer to launch the installation and follow the on screen instructions. If you don't have a Microsoft SQL Server, Phrase Express offers you to install the free Express edition of Microsoft SQL Server. It's pre-configured and ready to use. After installation of the SQL Client Manager, the SQL Server installation is launched and you need to click Install to continue. Now you can grab a coffee because this takes a while. Okay, the installation of the server is complete and you can also install the SQL Server Management Studio here, which will lead to the website of Microsoft where you can download it. Uh, this is optional, but it's a useful tool if you need to troubleshoot the SQL Server. But to run the SQL Server with Fresh Express, you don't need it. So we click on Close and launch the Fresh Express Client Manager. Now this is important. By default, Microsoft selects a dynamic port, which is not recommended uh, if you use it with Phrase Express. So our client manager offers you to fix this setting. We click on yes. But of course, if you have an existing SQL server, you would need to check with your IT administration whether you don't break anything. Okay, after fixing it and restarting the SQL server, you're good to go. We can double check if you click on database. If you see green text here, everything is fine. Now that's important. We now keep the uh, client manager running in the background on the server computer, making it easy for other clients on the workstation to find the SQL server without any additional configuration. So keep this program running. We will now switch to a workstation client to install Phrase Express there. Okay, we are now on a workstation computer and install the regular Phrase Express client. Make sure to keep the Microsoft SQL Server support activated. We also recommend to configure the firewall so you will have a flawless experience and that the client automatically connects to the SQL Server. Okay, after installation, you will find the uh, program icon in the lower right of the Windows task tray. If you don't see it, click this rectangle and drag the Phrase Express icon onto the task tray for a quick access. Now we open the program window and after a short while, it will automatically connect to the SQL database and it will be mounted to the phrase tree on the left. Now you can drag and drop your own phrases from the local phrase file to the SQL database node. Just select the desired folders and keep pressing the control key to select multiple folders. Then drag it to the SQL database node. Without the control key, you move the phrases so they will be removed from your local phrase file. And if you keep pressing the control key, you see a little plus symbol and the phrases will be copied. We would recommend to copy so you have a backup in your local phrase file. The phrases have been copied. Uh, for bigger databases, this may take a while. And now you don't need the local phrase file node anymore. So select it, right click and select unload. It won't delete the phrase file, but just unload it from Phrase Express because now you are using the SQL database. By the way, if the client should not automatically connect, you can um, initiate this manually by click on file, open, connect to SQL database then enter the SQL Server information, which you can find in the Client Manager, or use the configuration file, which you can load from here. We switch back to the server. We now switch back to the server computer to show you how to create such configuration file. In the SQL Client Manager, go to Databases, and here you can find the connection info. And this can be stored in a client configuration file. We create it on the desktop. And this is the file you would load on the clients. If you already have license keys, switch to license keys, paste your set of license key into the input box and press update. In the monitor, you will find a list of all connected clients. The W checkbox indicates whether the user has general right access right to the phrases. C can restrict access to the program settings if unchecked. U are user phrase file folders, which creates a personal user folder on each client. Let's do this. We switch back to the client computer. And if we restart the client,
Every user will have a personal folder, which is indicated with this smiley icon, and the individual user. So users can store their own phrases in this folder. It will become invisible for all other users. This is independent from the regular access write system. So you can select any folder and define read and write access write separately. As shown here. Additional information on how to use Phrase Express with the SQL Server can be found in the documentation. There you will also find a troubleshooting section if you run into any connection problem.